He's wearing a grey jacket. His name is Boris. And he has one of Swamiji's Rudrakshmala inside. And uh, he's inside his... Uh, the shirt colour is kind of like a bluish colour with a greyish bluish colour. A little girl with remarkable gift. Be prepared to be amazed. Then the blue. Then the yellow. Then the like a donut. Wonderful. Two years ago, I met nine-year-old Mayo Gamata. How are you? Good. Good. And she demonstrated an ability to read while blindfolded. Can you tell me what this word says? Love. Wow. She's now 11. It's so weird seeing Ma Yoga Mata on stage up there because she looks so much older than from the last time I saw her. But from what I understand, her powers have developed too. So we're gonna go check out what she can do now. All right, so uh, 30 seconds. Before our interview, she was on stage with others who demonstrate the same abilities. Just to look around. When you wear the blindfold, just take a look at this, all right? Your physical eyes go inside these holes and you can open your eyes. You've got thick foam all around, especially in the bridge of the nose. We only wear it without obstructing our nose, that's all. So let's get started. You're going to know more only when you experience it. May I have two volunteers on stage? Somebody is willing to try it. How about we make him try it on okay. first? Okay. Right. Um, By the way, what is, is the your mind? name? You can hold it. Comfy? <laughs> okay. Not Are you able to yeah. see anything? No, I'm not able to see anything. Thank oh, your you. ears. My ear is stuck. It's okay. Alright. <laughs> uh, you're not able to see anything? No, I can't see anything. Your eyes are open inside? Open and it's completely dark. Okay, great. Now that we tested the blindfolds, it was her turn to show us what she could do. But not until we okay. gave her one so, final okay. See, we never ever proceed with a demonstration without the person telling us, okay, go ahead. So you check if it is aligned to the center, you are comfortable with it. Test all you want before you give me a go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, it's impossible. There's no way you could see. <laughs> okay, great. So now, why don't we start by giving us things to read, see, even your cell phones or any such thing is perfectly fine. It looks like something long with a barcode on it. Yeah, yep, the barcode is facing you. Do you want me to yes, read it? That's fine. I can take it. Oh, and sure, read it. sure, yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's a little lip balm which is called. Is this yours? Yeah. It, it's like Ladybug Jane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I asked because. Can you see the flavor? Uh, it's purple in color and uh, it says ultra moisturizing balm. <laughs> Luxury lip care. Huh? It's hundred percent natural and vegan. Oh, and uh, I think the flavor is groovy grape. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. But we've seen that before. One thing I hadn't seen: people moving objects without touching them, like this guy. That's so weird. <laughs> As he moves his head that way, it, the coconut's moving with him that way. That's so weird. Oh my god. <laughs> So when we finally meet again, Ma Yoga Mata explains to me how he's able to do that. See, mind is not what we use when we're doing any of these powers. It's just the third eye power that we use. With your third eye. And this is a coconut. I hear the water in there. There's like no, I mean, it's not robotic or anything. Um, it's a real coconut. This power is just, we're moving matter. It's not the coconut or your hand or whatever. It's just matter. Whatever matter is kept in front of us, we move it. My yoga mata, the, uh, one of the things you were doing in there was you were body scanning. Yes. And tell me how that works, because I, I know one woman um, was really shocked by her results. Maha Yogi knew that she had anemia and too much estrogen production. It was really amazing. The body scanning is just seeing through the third eye. In the ancient mm -hmm. times, we never had anything like a CD scan and different scans like this. But it's just the third eye that you see and scan and tell, tells you what is the solution for your problems. Okay, so the last time you and I met, 
we did a uh, third eye reading, right? Of course, where I blindfolded you and you were able to read and draw everything that I drew. Can we this time do a body scan? Yes. Okay, let's try it. And, and just a total disclaimer, you don't, you don't know anything about my medical history. Okay. Do I have to do anything? No. Okay. So basically, uh, the first problem I was able to see was there is a bit too much of bile in your stomach. The layer that will be in your stomach, that first layer, that is starting to wear away. Too much of acid also in your stomach. Oh, wow. Okay. And the second thing I was able to see was uh, you sometimes have this kind of pain in your neck and shoulders. That is one thing yeah, I was shoulder. able to see. I just had shoulder surgery. Oh. Yeah. And there's uh, dehydration mm. in your body. Less water component in your body. Definitely today. <laughs> We've been shooting all day and I haven't drank anything. Okay. And sometimes your feet, like they strain a lot. Maybe because of the shoes That's you wear true. or something. Your feet always strain a lot. That's true. Yesterday they were hurting a lot actually. Wow, okay. So basically everything is due to lack of water in your body. Even the bile, everything. Yes, everything is because of lack of water. Your stomach, your pain. So you would need to take more of water and different nutrition, like fruits, vegetables and stuff like that. Okay. Is there anything um, more serious that you th see? Heart condition, anything like that? No, I don't see anything serious. It's just these minor problems that's just affecting your body. Okay. But if you don't attend to these, these, these can become bigger problems. They'll lead to that later. Okay, okay, so just dehydration and a bit of shoulder pain. Not very revealing. But then again, thankfully, I don't have anything more serious for her to find. So, ha tell me when you, what you see when you're looking at my body. See, how it appears, it appears different to each and every single balasanth. So, for me, how I'm able to see when I scan your body is, it shows like outline and then I'm able to see like either a red dot wherever you have a problem. And then it's literally like I can just click on it and I can see what the problem is wow. in detail. Okay. Is there anything you want to add that I haven't asked? Well, basically all these powers is available to anybody on this world. In this world, anybody who wants to manifest, well, Swamiji says, if you have a head, you have a third eye. So obviously with the third day only, you can manifest these powers. Mm -hmm. Anybody, you or the people who's walking around right here, even they can manifest these powers just by a touch or just by the initiation of Swamiji. Okay, great. We'll put a link to that so that people know how to find it. I guess you don't have to be a superhero to have superpowers. While I can't verify anything, I'm always willing to believe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.